I've mastered time, energy, and capacity. Right. So I live this extraordinarily balanced life by design where I only dedicate 30% of my time to podcasts and my shooting television and building my businesses. I spend 30% sleeping, 10% on my health, never compromise it, and 30% with my family. Today we're going to talk about Rob Deerdeck's Optimized Life app that I developed using ChatGPT. What software are you using to track all that time? Yeah. I had a, a programmer write me a script that goes inside Google. The Google it's, Calendar. It's an app on your phone, or it's just on like a spreadsheet basis. It's, in, it's inside Google Calendar, and then it pops. It populates a uh, Google spreadsheet. This is the first video about AI that I'm doing for this channel. Basically, I've committed unofficially committed myself to spending a lot of time every day just messing with all these AI tools and learning as much as I can about them, and so. Almost every day I have a new experiment. And one of the first experiments that I did was building out an app that I could use that would copy what Rob Deerdeck does. Let me just start out by explaining the where when I found out about this and where I found out about this. If you don't know who Rob Deerdeck is, he was a professional skateboarder. He he's really well known for the show, show called Ridiculousness and he has a podcast, a YouTube channel and he's been for the last couple of years I've seen or heard a couple of his podcasts where he talks about he calls I think he calls it his optimized life. And what he does is he tracks all of his time on a Google Calendar that looks like this. And he has this automation that transfers everything off of his Google Calendar into a spreadsheet that looks something like this. And from the spreadsheet, it will give him some charts and let him look at the data of, of where he spends time in his own life. And I've always been a nerd. I've always been into tracking stuff. I wear this aura ring all the time. So I track my sleep. Oftentimes I'm tracking my calories, my workouts, and I track a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, like time is really like the most precious thing that we have. And when I saw this episode where Rob Deerdeck talks about this, I thought, man, that would be so cool to be able to do the same thing. Maybe not permanently, but even for a few weeks, just to see where all my time goes. And I looked online for different apps and like you could search right now, like Rob Deerdeck Optimize Life app. And it's really like, you can't really find anything. There's some people that have started to create things. There's something, some people like, I don't know, there's some options out there, but there still to this day isn't anything that good. So anyways, long story short, I was messing around with ChatGPT about a month ago and I decided, let me see if I can create this app now because I tried to create it in the past, but I didn't know enough JavaScript or Python or I didn't really know enough about anything to do it myself. So this is one of the first experiments. And I guess before I get too far into how I built it, I'll just show you what I built so far. So here is my own spreadsheet that I built, and it looks exactly like Rob Deerdex. Even the color scheme is similar. And so here's the, spread, the spreadsheet, and it's being auto-populated from my Google Calendar, which is right here. And so I created my own naming convention, and everything that goes into this calendar will be and placed into these columns here. And I even went a step further and I made it so every entry actually also goes into this list just so I could see in one place everything that I've put on this calendar. And then when I leave little notes, I put, it, it transfers those over. And that way when I'm making all these calendar entries, I can leave myself little comments and be able to check back on them later. It's almost like a journal or a log or something like that. And I used Google App Scripts. So Google App Scripts is Google's platform that lets you really easily create apps like this and deploy them on the cloud, which means this app's running all the time and I have it set to run on a, on a timer once a day and it will automatically run from Google. Like I don't have to do anything on my own computer or anything like that. And so this is the script itself. It's pretty short, 
There's all my naming conventions. And I did it all with ChatGPT. And I think the whole thing probably took me about four, four or five hours the first time. And then I've probably spent another three hours since then fixing little bugs that popped up. But the most important or most valuable thing in this video is I wanna show you the process I went to through and how easy it was. Easy relatively because I, I have a tiny bit of coding experience. I know enough to know what should happen, but I don't know the coding languages enough to write anything. This is the, the chat from about a month ago. And uh, I just started asking, I was like, how, do you, how would I go about matching information from my Google Calendar to a spreadsheet? And then I had a few requirements in mind. I wanted it to be able to match items from the Google Calendar to cells in a spreadsheet. And I originally started off basing it off of the color because I was going to give each entry on here a different color. And that's how I was going to do it. But eventually I figured out that color isn't the easiest way to do it because it's a bunch of extra steps to go in here and choose the color when I could just type a little code right there in the beginning. So I scratched that, but that's where it all started. I wanted it to be able to be updated even if the calendar changes. That way, if I had to go back and change something, it would update it. And I wanted it to update once per day. And it outlined my goal and I just went back and forth with it. It, was, it asked me, do I wanna to connect to Google Sheets or Excel? I said, Google Sheets. And then I used a prompt called Synapse. You can just Google it, Google Synapse prompt. There's a couple of YouTube videos about it. It's a helpful prompt if you don't know much about writing custom prompts. This one will pretty much guide you through doing any kind of project you want. So I definitely recommend doing that. And so what this prompt does is it will outline like the main objectives that it sees and then it'll ask, it'll make sure that the outcome that it thinks you want is what you want. This is my task ends when the Google Sheet successfully updates at least once from the Google Calendar based on event colors and updates automatically daily. And then it asks clarifying questions. Are you familiar with Google App Scripts or blah, blah, blah? And I didn't even know what Google App Script was at this point. I had never heard of it. I didn't know what programming language to use. I didn't know where to start. But as soon as I saw that it mentioned Google Apps Script, I went and I was like, oh, that's neat because it's built into Google. And these are all like Google Sheets, Gmail, or not Gmail, Google Calendar. These are all Google products. So I figured it'd be easy to plug into these. But what's extra cool is that it's free. And it's free up to a 2,000 runs per day or something like that. This is only going to run once a day. So I'm well within that limit. And so that's what makes it even cooler is like, okay, here's a tool that I never knew existed before, Google App Script, and it's free to use. All right, I continued on and I'm not gonna read all of this, but this particular prompt took me through it one by one and then eventually started coding things. And I'm, it, it, gave, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. And the beautiful thing about ChatGPT is if you don't, if you've never done this stuff before, you, this is like the ultimate teacher to help you figure out what you're doing. And let's say that you've never coded before. You, this just looks like Chinese to you. You can ask it to explain what this code does line by line. Oftentimes you'll see that if you looked through my chat logs, you would see that I'm constantly asking it, okay, you gave me some code, but what am I supposed to do with it? And so in this case, I'm supposed to copy this into Google App Script and run it and see what happens. And so that's the process I went through is I would copy this into Google App Script. I would run it. Oftentimes I'd get an error. I would copy paste the error back in ChatGPT and it would tell me what went wrong and fix the code for me. And that was literally all I did. I did this for a few hours and went back and forth and slowly yet surely I figured it out. And just from going through this process one time, I became 10 times more effective at going through this process. I've developed a couple apps since then. And now that I know the process I'm going to go to go through it, it's just a lot easier. And I've gotten a lot better at explaining 
what I want the app to do. I also understand that it is going to be an iterative process where I'm like going back and forth with it. So sometimes I'll ask ChatGPT to go, let's go action by action. And so that we can test the script one step at a time. And that way, if one thing isn't working, we're not trying to hunt down what's working. We're making sure that step works before we're moving on to the next one. That way we know if we're running into an error, the error is probably happening where we're at now. Everything before that's already working properly. So that's something. So I did this whole automation that moves everything into, I did this whole automation on the first go. And then it was a couple days later that I decided I wanted to have this call entry log or cal calendar entry log. And so this, doing this script, this is a separate script. This one only took me like 20 minutes to make and to get working because of what I had gone through. I was just a lot better at doing this the second time around. And that's it. The, the whole point of this video is to show you that it doesn't matter how much you know about this stuff. You can use this tool. And if you're just willing to put in the time and keep working on it, you can build some really cool stuff. And for those of you that find this video and you're looking for this Rob Deer Deck tool, I recommend making it yourself. Right now, yeah, it'll take you a few hours, but then you know exactly how it works and you can customize it to the way that you want it. And down the road, because trust me, after you've tracked your time for a little while, I've been doing, I've only been doing it for about three weeks and you start to figure out what you want to track, what's important to you. You think of customizations that you want to make and you figure out how to make it your own. And that way you're not beholden to someone else's app that they made for what they thought they wanted. You're able to make it yourself. And the skill of being able to use these tools to do things like this is extremely valuable these days. In my opinion, in maybe even a year from now or less, the only people working are going to be the ones that figured out how to use these tools because everyone else will have been replaced by these tools. That's my suggestion. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you want to see me go more into depth on how I built this particular script, just let me know and um, maybe I'll have time to do that. And thanks for watching.